It's Texas Senator Ted Cruz. I would assume that probably he'll be apologizing for using the word illegal, Senator. But this is not a laughing matter. What, what the FBI director is saying here is this is the worst threat we've had since 9-11. This, this, this sounds to me like the canary in the coal mine, and he's basically yes. telling this country to prepare for a terror attack. I have identified Iran, Syria, Afghanistan, also Egypt, Russia, and China. Why are they coming to our southern border, and why doesn't the FBI director insist that Joe Biden stop aiding and abetting in the law breaking and enforce the laws of our country? Shouldn't he be insist? Doesn't he have the authority to do that, Senator? Absolutely, yes. The FBI director is exactly right. The terror threat to this country is enormous. It is greater than it has been at any time since September 11th. We've had 10.4 million people cross illegally since Joe Biden became president. The open borders we have, when I'm down on the southern border, as you know, I spend a lot of time down on the southern border. Border patrol agents are actively looking for Hamas, for Hezbollah, for, for Palestinian jihad, for terrorists coming across. They have called for terrorists to carry out acts like October 7th. On October 7th, 1,200 people were murdered in Israel. And, and what these terrorists are calling for is the same sort of mass murder here in the United States. And Joe Biden and every congressional Democrat, they are complicit. They refuse to do anything to stop it. And I'll tell you, even worse than that, it's not even just that, that Biden and the Democrats are overwhelmed and they don't know how to stop the, the flow coming in. The news just broke in the last two weeks that Joe Biden, the Biden administration, actively flew over 320,000 illegal immigrants from their home countries into the United States, into 43 different airports. Now, we don't know that because Biden told the American people. We don't know that because Biden told Congress. We know that because of a law lawsuit under the Freedom of Information Act. They were forced to acknowledge that. But they will not tell you what 43 airports they are, what cities they're flying people into. But understand, they're flying people from Venezuela. They're flying people from their home countries into America to come illegally. This is an invasion, and it's an invasion that Biden and the Democrats want for political reasons, and they don't care if people die as a price for their partisan control. Joe Biden said he regretted using the term illegal. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't give an apology to Lake and Riley's family when he butchered her name. Say her name, Joe. It's not Lincoln. It's Lake and Riley. Nor have we heard that he even pick up a phone and call them and tell them. But what I'm hearing from the FBI director is it's not if, it is when. That there are terror yes. cells yes. likely in this country. I would argue it's I'm 100 percent right. I pray I'm 100 percent wrong. I'm not wrong, Senator. You're not wrong. Director Ray's not wrong. It's, it's now when, not if probably sooner than later. Look, look, there are two images, two photographs and images that capture what the, what the 2024 election is all about. One image was the illegal immigrants who beat up two New York police officers, were released from jail with no bail, and they flipped off the country. That's image number one. That's the message of Joe Biden and the Democrats to the American people, is flipping the bird with both hands. The second image, is right after the State of the Union. The next day, Donald Trump quite rightly meets with Lake and Riley's family, hugs Lake and Riley's family, and simultaneously while Trump is hugging the family of this beautiful 22-year-old woman who should still be alive if it were not for Democrat open borders, that same day, Joe Biden apologizes not to Lake and Riley, not to her family, not to the people who died, but apologizes to the murderer illegal alien because he called him an illegal. Yeah. That is this election. Unreal. Between the two, Biden is on the side of the murderers and illegal aliens, and that's who he's apologizing to. But when it comes to, to American citizens, you, you heard his response to the State of the Union. Well, yeah, she was killed by an illegal, but how many people were killed by legals? Like, what the hell does that mean? I have no idea. I saw you with Nick Saban today. A name, image, yeah. likeness. For it or against it? I only have 10 seconds. For it, but Congress needs to act so we have competition and, and we protect fairness and stop the chaos in college sports because it's too important.
Yeah, I agreed, and I'd like to see, by the way, you know, most of these kids will never play professional sports, and they put their bodies on the line, especially in, in hard sports like football. Senator, thank you.